Welcome back. Last week, we talked about Turkey joining the campaign against the Islamic State in neighboring Syria. This week, tanks rolled across the border to open a new line of attack against the terrorists. The tanks have begun rolling into Syria as part of an operation called Euphrates Shield, Turkey's first full-scale incursion into Syria since the start of the civil war. The campaign coincides with a push by Turkish allies among the Syrian rebel forces who have seized several villages to the east. The tanks are rolling across the frontier from Kilis province, entering into the town of Al Rai to support the new offensive. Al Rai is about 55 kilometers west of Jarablus and part of a 90 kilometer corridor near the Turkish border. Turkey says it is clearing of jihadists and protecting from Kurdish militia expansion. While Euphrates Shield initially targeted the Islamic State in Jarablus, most of the focus since has been on checking the advance of U.S.-backed Syrian Kurdish fighters. Turkey disagrees with its allies' support for the Syrian Kurdish YPG militia, which it considers a terrorist group. The YPG has been among the most effective partners on the ground in the fight against the militants. Meanwhile, the Syrian army late last week released footage of their apparent entry into an area of military colleges in Aleppo, showing them under heavy bombardment from opposition forces. In the video, soldiers can be seen running from building to building amid the sound of gunfire while smoke rises from opposition forces. The Syrian army said they aimed to secure and isolate the area after recently regaining control of a number of valleys surrounding the region from the south. As the campaign against ISIS continues, civilians were being evacuated from Maudamir, an opposition-held suburb in Damascus. The evacuees included 79 women, 162 children and 62 militants who had agreed to lay down their arms after taking advantage of the presidential amnesty. Security forces searched the luggage of the evacuees before they boarded buses and ambulances arranged by the Syrian Arab Red Crescent which took them to shelters in a government-controlled neighborhood nearby. Maudamir, located in the south of Damascus, has been under government siege for more than three years, trapping an estimated 28,000 people with dwindling supplies of food and medicine. The town has received several humanitarian aid deliveries since the beginning of this year. The mass departure from Maudamir comes a week after the full evacuation of the nearby opposition-held suburb of Daraya, which was also conducted through an agreement between the government and opposition groups. But Syrian refugees stranded at the Jordanian border are in dire need of humanitarian assistance. The UN Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Stephen O'Brien, confirmed that there are almost 70,000 Syrian refugees held at the border due to security concerns. Uh, our discussions focus principally on national security, uh, on the concerns about that, and on finding solutions to the Syrians stranded at the northeastern border. The living conditions for the people stranded at the berm are dire with no access to basic resources such as food and water. With over 75% of the population estimated to be women and children, they desperately need assistance and support. We are currently in very active discussions to explore uh, how we can make sure that uh, there is a sufficient uh, provision of uh, security whilst at the same time holding very firmly to the humanitarian principle that nobody should have to move uh, unless it is completely voluntary of their own free will. According to government officials, 
Jordan currently hosts more than 1.4 million refugees, with most of them living in urban areas and around 100,000 Syrians in the camps. And that's the show this week. Send us your comments on Twitter at Diplomatic Chan and at CTV underscore Amara underscore Ubani. Thanks for watching.